All right, class, let's uh, take a look at doing some density problems. But before we jump in on density, I'd like to do a quick little, quick little review of uh, some volume calculations. And just to get us started here, let's take a look at this little bottle of, uh, what is this? Propel water. If we look very quick, uh, carefully at the label, it tells us that this container holds 20 fluid ounces. Now, that's the uh, English system of measuring volume. We're interested in the bottom number right there, the 591 milliliters. I want to see if we can't take a look at this bottle, recognizing that it's, for the most part, just a cylinder, right? And take a few measurements and see if we can't compute that same number, that 591, or something awfully close to it. All right. What are the important measurements uh, of a cylinder? Well, let's take a look at that. If you were to look this up in a, a reference book, you would find that a cylinder as a volume formula of pi r square h. r is the radius of the base of the, let's draw this in here. Right, the base is a circle, right, and that circle has a radius. r in this formula is the measurement of that radius, and h is the height of the cylinder. Right. Now we could see that uh, if we were to just extend this up a little bit, we could actually draw this as our bottle. Right. We're going to assume that whatever water actually makes it up into this top portion, we're just going to ignore that. And for that matter, there's a little like dome thing in the bottom of the uh, container right here. So we'll ignore that also. And so it won't be a perfect calculation, but it'll give us a ballpark. So if we just look at this water bottle as a cylinder, we're going to have to make two measurements. Measurement down here for the radius and measure here for the height. Now, what I'm going to do is take out a measuring device called the vernier caliper. And this vernier uh, is a very accurate device for measuring the distance between the two jaws. And I'm just going to put this vernier across this bottle, just close the jaws on it, and get a reading. Now this says 65.26. But this reads in millimeters, and I want my uh, measurements to be in centimeters, and you'll see why in just a bit. So 65.25 millimeters is going to be 6.525 centimeters. Now that's not a radius, that's a diameter, of course. All right, so we're not going to label that R, we're going to label that D. All right, good enough on that. I'd love to use this to do the um, the uh, height of this, but it just the, the height of the bottle is too big. So I'm just going to take out a ruler, right, and I'm going to measure the height of this bottle up to this portion right here where it starts sloping up into the neck of the bottle, and that looks to me to be just under. 18 centimeters, so let's call it like 17.5, let's say. So H is equal to 17.5 centimeters. Take a note real quick that the height I was able to measure to three sig digs Whereas the diameter I was able to measure to four sig digs, and that all has to do with how accurate uh, of a device you're using. 
But anyway, let's go ahead and finish up uh, doing this calculation. All right. um, I could plug H directly into this, but I cannot plug diameter in. I need to cut that in half real quick. So let me go get my calculator 6.525 and divide that in half. So I'm going to get R. Let me change the pens here. R is equal to 3.2625 centimeters. All right. Now I could plug in to this formula right here. Let me make some room here. V is equal to pi times the quantity 3.2625 square. Actually, let's make that 3.265 centimeters. That would be squared. And then the height is 17.2625. Five centimeters. Right. Let's go ahead and put this all into our calculator. Now, on this particular calculator, there's a pi symbol right above this key. I have to access it by hitting the uh, inverse key on this calculator. So there's pi, and notice it's like the ten, uh, nine or ten digits. That's what you'd prefer to do. Don't put just 3.14 in there. Use the pi button on your calculator. Multiply by 3.2625, then hit the square key, times 17.5 equals. Okay. Now this says 585.1793, blah, 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 blah. And this is going to have units of centimeters cubed. All right, now this is an important uh, aspect of this problem. Notice up here the uh, radius was given in centimeters, but that's squared, and then centimeters again. So that's centimeters times centimeters times centimeters three times, hence the centimeters cubed. Now the other aspect uh, to this is sig digs. This number has one, two, three, four, five sig digs in it. This has one, two, three. So my answer should be to three sig digs. So it'd be 585 centimeters cubed. However, a cubic centimeter is exactly equal to a milliliter. So this is also 585 milliliters. When we go back and we look at the uh, volume uh, that's labeled or printed on the label here, it says 591 milliliters. So the actual is 591 milliliters. I would say that's not bad.